प्लीज कंफर्म माय स्क्रीन इज विजिबल और नॉट यस विजिबल यस विजिबल ओके तो दिस न्यू कांसेप्ट ऑफ एचओसी ओके दिस आई एम स्टार्टिंग दैट हायर ऑर्डर कंपोनेंट इज दिस कांसेप्ट दिस हायर ऑर्डर कंपोनेंट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट when you uh, creating for the reusability of component logic means in a scalable architecture if we have multiple components we have multiple nested components direct or indirect child or parent so that time it's not possible to add uh, the values or your data every time uh, from parent to child from child to parent so instead of that we are using that hoc that is called higher order component and uh, this is a pattern we can tell it is a pattern of uh, react architecture okay so higher order component uh, how it work basically a component is a function it's is called a function that takes a component and returns a new component means inside the function we have as a parameters it takes one component and returns the new component whatever the logic you have to put inside that and it return the another component from this hoc higher order component so you can see that architecture level that how higher order component would work over there like we have uh, in the underlying uh, we can get some component like component 1 component 2 and n number of components we can add and between that This is a consuming component wherever the data is consumed, and in between we have to set up this higher order component. And from the component to higher order component, we have to send some props, and then props to the data will be fetched from the higher order component, returns a new component, the updated data. So this is the structure of React higher order component. So earlier we used Radium the style. that time we have used this higher order component concept so whenever you have to add this component you have to wrap this create the higher order component and wrap inside this component and then to send the parameters the objects you have to send over there and this way the higher order component is work and you can see that is a inner component so this can be anything component 1 component 2 component 3 and this is your higher order component okay and this higher order component we can add the style we can add some behavior and it returns a new component so this is the logic of higher order component we can see that uh, some code base i have just added this is the constructor i have create one class and then class we have add some component did mount subscribe the options <coughs> and then in the return you have to pass the component so <coughs> this is the <coughs> sorry uh, this is your value the uh, const variable and inside the variable you have to pass the wrap component means this is the higher order component you have to pass i am showing i am going to demonstrate in the demo or uh, uh, how the executable looks like this is my normal app dot js and here you can see that i have two component right home component and profile component and this is my higher order component any name you can take so here i have pass this value as a prop home component and create a new component over there and then i have get some data from the api and then this data i have to pass as a props so in the 
we then cut it. This is my higher order component name. And if you go in the home.js, you can see that I have only wrapped this component. This is my higher order component and wrap the home component. And everything will be passed from this component to home component. Get the data. Same logic in that profile.js. So create the higher order component as a top level architecture. You have to create and then wrap the component. So simple logic. So, uh, any problem or any you can understood, right? Uh, yes. In home.js. Yes, yes. This is the home.js. Yes, yes. And uh, export default. Uh, first one you. First normal. We have to create the component. How is you know like yes. how we have to create this is the class, and then home. And then no, uh, like X on line number nine. Export uh, default. Export default. Uh -huh. This is my higher order component. Okay okay so i have created this component you can see this is my higher yes. order component right okay so higher order okay. component how it is right const mm -hmm. like any name with or i'm uh same thing i'm right any name you can say okay no, higher order component ke baad home ko wrap kiya hai, no, this home is the props name not the home component a to c component not home i'm not writing the this is a props name okay Okay. Any props, these are props, not home. HOC, I'm writing HOC. Okay, yes. this is your value, and then return const new component. Okay, mm -hmm. and then props you have to pass. Nested function, okay, yes, and then I made one call axios.get. Whatever the value I can get, uh, this value, right? Response dot data. Hmm? Yes. This value I can get. I'm not writing any, uh, this this value. Which is the value? Hmm. You have to pass over to this. Normally, dot bin dot response dot bin. So then we have to return. normal div and then style any style you can add it this is my component this logic okay this value or you can take a response dot data not title okay i have added and then dot 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 means spread operator at the props. Hmm. Yeah. And then you have to return the um, new component. And whatever the const function name, na? Hmm. this function name you have to pass over there. It automatically get this value. Okay. <clears throat> so means uh, any API call or any nested call or any logic you have to integrate. So only one place, top of the layer, you have to integrate this thing, the value. Okay. Response dot data you are getting. And then pass the value wherever you can create multiple components over there. The profile I have create profile, then I have to create any component that uh, you're about or this import 
Lihat. Om lihat. And then I have to create the class or function. Extends React dot component. Okay. Same logic render. Uh, about a switch. So props means this value is coming from here. You have to send some props, right? This value. Yeah. And then you have to export. Default. About. This is your normal, right? About. Whatever you write. But only one can import. This is your higher order component. You have to import this thing. And then tap this thing. Okay. So same value you can get over there. And value I have to populate it only one place, right? Yes. I'm not populated everywhere. So any changes, if I will make any changes, so Suppose name and then title. Hello. Okay. Have to pass this way. This this value and this value we can get over there. So props dot name na. You can also get inside this props. This dot props dot title. This title I have added, right? This title value you can add over there in the about us page. So benefit is this. No need to add your values in the normal component. You have to create one logic for the higher order component and pass the value. This is the main logic. Okay. Yes, yes. This is the concept of higher order component. And one thing that is the uh, one use reducer I, I have to create it right? last day. Use reducer hook. So, hello. Uh, yes. Uh, so, use reducer hook we have to create it last day, right? Use reducer. So, ah, yes, sir. Ah, yes. Use reducer. So, the hooks use reducer that I have to talk. Uh, uh, so, use reducer. Only these hooks are pending. So you can see this code. Okay. This is my function. And then I have created three individual components. Order, order one, order two, order three. Okay, and this is my reducer. And this is my context. And from reducer, I have create one 
switch case state and action okay so change dot name i have to add the value and then you got this value in anywhere with the use context and use reducer rows right use context i have got my context and then your name and the coder to means this component i have to call from here and this value you get if i change any value right type change name so type and case both are same so here i am going to add one thing that the type and uh, and payload in the dispatch function so you can see the change name is my type and same thing in the use reducer i have to add in the switch case okay action dot type so earlier the name was rahul and whenever i click the button the name should be suresh this value will be updated over there so any action you have created it should be main, uh, written this way inside and in change title if i will create any payload you can change फंक्शन Okay. And uh, have you practiced this thing in that uh, hook or earlier whatever app discuss? Hello. I yeah, started to making CRUD operation in uh, function component using hooks. Uh, it's not done okay. fully, but uh, it's going on. So uh, can can you show us how we have to create it? Have you started or only planning to start? Yes, yeah, started, started. Not yet completed. Started. Okay. So reducer function you understood, right? How it is working? Uh, reducer. Uh, yeah. Okay. But uh, any question on on that? No, still not. <laughs> No Next part is there, and I have to upload this code and along with the other code. Like uh, one full example, I have that I will upload. So please go through on that. Okay, these things. So it's all our working example. Okay, so this way I have to create this thing. And another. Use reducer. I'm creating right now. Just a minute. Mm. Okay. 
and we have to create actions of index dot choose index of choose option reducer and that And also create one app module to CSS for a minute. And dot trees, we have put all the stuff. Give on compliments. Thank you. 
komponen komponen One minute. Search bar and creating. Um. Mm -hmm. 
Here you can see the connect connect a function that is called react and redux. Okay. It will be connect to the action now. Connect. Means connect your input or the first your input into that input of that. Connect. Set the connect. You have to pass some value. Like. Right now, you all understood it. Right? Uh, what I'm doing in this house, house hardware bridge. Yes, sir. Any question? Something right. So, here I have to add some value, but first I have to create the movie component and then I will add. Okay. The structure is a connect is a higher order component, and I have to pass the value and pass the component over there. So automatically redux and map state to props it will handle the state data to props and return the value over there that's why this function is all now let's go to movie component it's almost redux also This thing redux and reduce are both the example of redux and yeah, and then install the react strap, but first to create the movie component. We yeah. can have to add the 
class name same thing create some class css class over there dot movie origin top prm img Hundred part centers, max height, also yet. So input files. Uh, from Ruby dot module dot Ruby Center in four at the movie name. Movie And control the DX step. So three, four packages I have to install over there in my package partition. I think React step is installed, but React Redux I have to install. Yeah. Redux. Redux. I have to install this thing. Install the packages. It takes some times and can install this package.
If you try to npm update, then it will be updated or not. No, oh, I have added this in one minute. No. No other command is version problem uh, yes. but i uh, only last uh, today i have faced this problem i didn't get this type of problem copy this line no mat here over then uh, or uh, npm config create registry for this command right npm config create No. Okay, so for me. I need the Redux tongue, not React tongue. This is the name. In the Redux tongue, not React tongue. Redux. Yes.
Yeah. All packages are installed over there. Now some changes have to be in the index.js file. Or first moving the page. This value will come from the API. That's why the hard coded value is set. Now, uh, this movie component, same thing, but before in adding the React and Redux. The working condition, so it changes in the index. So this one. One minute. To the images, I have to make some changes. First, you have to call the provider. Uh, provider from React Redux. Input Yeah. 
Muslim add some applied middleware. Muslim value have to add in the Redux. And add the reducer. Input reducers. Then I'll add and the final producer. The reducer I have all Initially, we have to pass some value in the state. So here I am passing not null. Create null to action. So value is created. Then switch statement. And in the switch, we have to call action dot if. Yes. If we is switch and we I own again or reload. If all We can push the state. Root reduce to state. Export. Now, happy in the index.js file. Corrected right now. Now you have to create your stone. Oh. 
on the reading cell. Line middleware and pass the thunk. Thunk we have to import. Import. I have to create yeah. and then we have to wrap your app in your provider. Oh, provider, but right now. And should write this thing. How we have to connect uh, React and Redux? Mm -hmm. Yes, person. What is Thunk say? Thunk? Uh -huh. What is Thunk? Thunk, thunk is you actually um, when we the Middle API way. call. Na? So mm -hmm. API call when it one call goes to the server. So it takes some time, right? Yes. So it's act like a middleware means the inside the in in between react and redux and uh, it will hold the means until we got some value from the server side right so mm -hmm. act as a middleware over there so okay. no delay or no uh, your uh, server side data will come so first if you are playing with that api that time react Redux thang you have to use. Yes. Okay. Otherwise, normally you no need to pass this thang. As a middleware, it is using. Okay. Means between the React and Redux, thang is coming. Tomorrow I will show its total architecture. Okay. I have okay. end to end drawing Redux thang, Redux everything. Tomorrow I will say. Okay. And tomorrow I'll complete the code. Yes. Also, we can using the uh, thunk uh, cancel canceling the request uh, actions. Ah, obviously, you, you can also create this thing. I mean, if you don't want to request uh, get the request or the cancel, you also mm -hmm. do that. So basically, it's using when you are using the API call. So API call I will do in the action panel. I create the action now. So reducer. I write the code the reducer reducer. And then I'll create some action. Tomorrow I'll write the code in the action. Okay. And also, so Redux also will be completed too. Tomorrow. Any questions? Um, stop my sharing. Uh, I'm dropping out. I have another one call. Yes, yes, yes.
Okay. So I'll up update the code also. This code yeah. will do this. And only deployment and Firebase part and some third party tools.